guys it's honestly crazy how life works sometimes in a lot of cases you can kind of predict it just like uh, I guess I should have after looking for one of these trucks for a year I decided to finally buy one even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for I just kind of accepted you know what they're very hard to come by and this one was in good condition and all that kind of jazz and if you're totally unaware of what I'm talking about you missed my community post so be sure to keep up with my community tab because I genuinely let y'all decide what I do on this channel in a lot of cases so last night I just hopped on Facebook for a casual browse and popped up was pretty much the exact truck that I've been looking for for the last year so I put up on my community tab hey do we stick with Chomper or do I go look at this? It was like 78% of y'all say go check it out. I'm gonna film everything and hope everything is cool with that. Hopefully I can film test driving it and checking it out and everything. But he did tell me that um, it's got some clear coat bubbling, but the pictures, it looks super good. I'm gonna be comparing it to this truck because if I buy it, I'm gonna be selling this truck. This truck's got 161, 158 when I bought it. And the truck, I think has 193 or 197,000. So we're talking about like 40,000 more miles, getting close to going over 200,000, which does kind of suck, but I'm gonna quit rambling. We're gonna go look at it. If it's the unicorn, we're gonna get it. If it's not, we're not. Cold start, got the hood pop. We're gonna see what it sounds like. I guess we're gonna wait for this 18 wheeler to ball going by. We'll bolt squeak in action I mean belt I don't know why this door won't freaking shut still won't shut well, we got good oil pressure 193,000 miles I'll talk to y'all more about what's going on, on the outside in just a minute and we're gonna pull in this church and get some outside footage it is very clean in here probably the only wear and tear is really right here on this driver's seat which is not super bad it's not busted open the seat does not actually um, the power does not work on it though so he's saying it's a fuse he thinks um, this bezel is bad this door will not shut it does that unless the wind is cracked which leads me to the biggest issue and that is the sunroof so the sunroof has been sealed with silicone and as you can tell the paints you know the clear coat starting to let go which is you know it's acceptable I get it. it's an old truck red usually has way worse paint than this at this age um, but this being sealed I told him was probably the biggest issue that I have with it and he said if you take this off um, that it works fine and that he was going to be replacing the seal on it he just hadn't had time for it which if you hit the button it does attempt to move so I, I probably believe that but overall the interior is very very clean you know this this guy's busted but these things are intact which is a rare treat right um, this door does not open don't know what's up with that you can see pretty much all the way around the truck there's these little bubbles but you know from two foot back it looks great right um, probably door not shutting good probably would never notice any of the exterior flaws just from me you know filming on camera and y'all watching little stuff like you know yes but you know acceptable stuff right I'm, I'm tempted to just take these let me take them off real quick and go put them on chomper just kidding but yeah exterior wise very very straight body right little scuff here i think i saw one little ding uh, but dude super super straight right tailgate's got this guy but overall like i said very very straight pretty horrendous bed liner i don't know i guess it's a diy one um but very very clean very very clean i'm i'm impressed dude this is this is nice very nice on the inside um that's in pretty good shape our headliner oh that's been like i don't know somebody tried to putty it to keep it up or something i guess you know it, probably, it was leaking obviously the sunroof was leaking but I mean, very straight truck, which makes me want to buy it, but I don't know. Like I said, nice and clean. Doesn't look like it's had a ton of water running through it or anything. Seats in super good condition. Console is, you know, the headliner is obviously starting to go, which is acceptable. That's normal for these trucks this age. I don't know why they put the caulk all the way around. I don't know. They're trying to seal it up. But yeah, inside of the truck, pretty daggum clean. Like, honestly, like, 
really good. There's another thing. So I don't know if the the back little vents down here are clogged up because that like lets pressure out and in. I don't know if that's clogged up and that's what's not letting it or if it is directly related to the sunroof. But dude, she's pretty daggum clean. It's not rusted. It's a nice southern truck. It's obviously been spray painted some places, but you know, you could see the frame was rusted and whatnot. If it was having those issues, of course, it's been cleaned up for sale, but it doesn't look like it's been mud bogged or anything crazy like that. It's been wiped down real good. Once again, like I said, uh, a little damp. Definitely some some good oil leaks, which is, you know, like I said, this thing's 14 years old. I'm, I'm really picking it apart. I just have to decide, is it really worth me letting go of Chomper for this? Because I do absolutely love Chomper. The sunroof being janky has <sighs> bummed me out pretty bad. Because I know this has great potential. The paint's not crazy bad. It's just got these bubbles and stuff, which, like I said, from this far away, you're not going to notice it. Like I said, if you roll the window down, then the door will shut. Well, there it went. Okay, speaking of windows, well, we don't have wood in the back of this one, at least. All the windows work. Like I said, the... I'll hop out and grab a thumbnail real quick. Dude, it does look so freaking good in the thumbnail. I know y'all are going to be tripping in this video if I don't buy it, telling me that I should have bought it because it does i know for a fact in the thumbnail look incredibly good and probably in the video itself looks super super clean blinker blinker what else oh four wheel drive oh the brakes are just god awful all right i mean pretty much immediately she's in four low Shift to four high. There she goes. All right, two wheel. The AC is roaring pretty good. All right, we're in two wheel. Let's put her in reverse and make sure. All right. Yeah, I, I, man, I don't miss that little clunking noise. Chopper used to do that same exact noise. Oh, here comes a red cat. Uh, there's really two things that I think would make this truck perfect. One being the Vortec Max, and two being a cat eye. <laughs> I don't know, it's just something about cat eyes, dude. I just love them. I'm not sure why there is a ton of wind noise, because my truck does not do that at all. I don't know why that is. I can see one chip there, one chip there, so the windshields got some cracks. There's another one. Shields sealed good. The people have been super nice, tossed me the keys, let me drive it. Immediately were understanding all the things that I brought up, which I didn't bring. I hadn't nitpicked them at all, but like the door not opening, the leaks underneath, the door's not shutting good, stuff like that. I hadn't. I mean, it does drive really well. It does all right. I might regret it, but I think I'm gonna bail. I just don't think there's enough here for me to want to ditch Chomper because I have, like I said, really grown attached to Chomper. I love that truck. I've been telling y'all I'm going to keep it forever. And the only reason why I was even possibly going to get rid of it was because I thought this was the unicorn. And I guess it's very close to being the unicorn. It's nice. It's got its perks, no doubt. The small issues and stuff I'm not worried about because that's just more content for us to make. But... I think I'm just gonna bail. I think I'm gonna keep Chomper and, and just not, I'm gonna block all these body styles on Marketplace so I can only look at other makes and models and other Wilson tires and not see these because they keep luring me in. They keep luring me in. Maybe I'll go in there and throw them a low ball, but I'm gonna throw them a low ball. And if they accept it, then great. And if they don't, then no hard feelings, all good, no issues. So yeah, I guess I'll update y'all in a second one way or another however this goes well boys i just don't think i can do it i don't think i can say goodbye to chomper so obviously i did not buy the truck and i wanted to talk to y'all because i know there's gonna be people in the 
comment saying, dude, that thing was spotless. You should have bought it because after editing the video, it did look absolutely incredible on camera. I think if it had been a cat eye, it might have swayed me more because I think red on cat eyes, they just kind of have a different personality. GMC has a more classy, in my opinion, and I think black is a little more classy color versus on cat eyes, I think the red looks more aggressive, if that makes sense. But anyways, where I left y'all off was headed back to meet them. Now I got there, I got to do more thinking, I got to check out the truck more. Um, the main thing that was really bothering me and had me concerned was the windshield. So it was making a ton of noise, which this one has no wind noise, right? None whatsoever. So that immediately stuck out to me, which was a really cool thing for me able to jump out of this, jump into that and be like, okay, this feels different. This was the same. He told me that apparently they put all new door seals on it. So immediately I'm like, that's kind of weird. You don't see typically people replacing all the door seals which then, boom, uh, it would make sense if someone was having a leak and they were just throwing the kitchen sink at it trying to figure it out. So they probably had a leak. They were like, oh man, it's typical. You don't buy sunroofs in old vehicles because they leak silicone the, the, the sunroof up, right? Didn't fix a leak properly. So then they threw no, all new door seals at it. Maybe that didn't fix the leak. So then they started silicone and everything. I showed y'all the headliner was silicone. Like I said, the outside, the windshield was silicone, which that windshield had a bunch of cracks in it. So I would have replaced it and that might have fixed the issue. I've rambled on way too freaking long. This video is way too long. I'm sorry. Um, but I figured like all the other videos where I went and looked at trucks, y'all would enjoy this, even though I didn't buy it. Y'all seem to enjoy the experience going along with me. And maybe you learned some things to look for when you go look at buying one. And I might wait a little while to post this just to allow them, you know, to sell the truck and not be anything weird. But um, if you ended up buying it, good for you. I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, it's definitely got some issues that I think wouldn't be too crazy to fix. And you'd have you a really solid truck. And 10 foot away, you'd have you a freaking spotless one. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one.